hello 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 hi everybody how are you today i hope you're having a yeah, don't mind my hand sorry i hope you're having a fantastic day i hope that you are showing up for your life showing up for yourself and you're taking a few minutes to just set your intention for the afternoon to reset to refocus to reground to redirect your thoughts and really tune in to what is needed for you that sounds selfish to some people but you can't show up for anyone unless you're willing to show up for yourself you can't give what you're not willing to get you are not able to fully be in the presence of anyone else unless you are fully willing to be in the presence of yourself and that is a really hard pill for a lot of people to swallow so taking and focusing on what we're doing my name is Rebecca Packard we are creating a Maharishi effect we come together seven days a week at 2 p.m. Eastern and hold four minutes of intention for peace we've been doing this for over a year and a half it's been absolutely incredible and everyone who has been participating regularly has seen a huge shift in how they're able to show up for themselves they've seen a huge shift of how they're able to really in Involve themselves in their afternoons. There's so many less, I'm so tired or I'm so run down. And I have heard a lot about people are like, oh, usually I like need another cup of coffee or whatever in the afternoon. And once you're in this practice, once you're taking this time each day, once you're holding this intention and this four minutes for self, you'll see that you are able to really reconnect with yourself and re guide yourself to what you really want the outcome of your afternoon to be. So, without further ado, whatever meditation practice is what resonates with you is the meditation practice that we want you to focus on because that's where you will be the most in tune and alignment. And we want you to focus on the intention of peace. So, here we go.
went a little long today. <laughs> Hi, Katie! Yay! Um, went a little longer. I must have been feeling really peaceful. So I am so glad that so many of you are taking time out of your day to sit in intention, to hold space, to hold space for yourselves, but also to shift the collective consciousness. It is so important for us to just get centered and grounded and be in our own feelings so that we can really discern what is ours and what is not ours. Have you ever had a moment where you're like, holy crap, all this stuff's going on and it, 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 it. and then you went, wait, is this how I feel? Is this really what's going on? And you kind of like stopped and you went, hmm, is this my emotion? Is this my energy? And then you had that light bulb moment of, no, it's not. <laughs> None of this is fine. <laughs> and you went, I'm just going to disconnect from this. I'm just going to let it go and release it and move on because this isn't even mine. And meditation can help us to do that. Mindfulness can help us to do that. Taking time to even just ask ourselves that simple question that so often we forget to ask ourselves can help us to do that. So try and just when you're getting in that space of, oh my God, the sky is falling. Just stop. Focus for one second and go, is this mine? And if it is, fine, deal with it. If it's not, let it go. We don't need that nonsense. You guys, everything doesn't have to be created with resistance and chaos. Life does not have to be created with resistance and chaos. We do not have to live this life of chase your tail stupidity. And we can let it go. We can just redirect. So I'm so glad that so many of you are taking the time out of your busy days to just tune in and touch base and hold space and move your energy so that you can be more in alignment with where you want to be for the day and what you want to be doing for the afternoon. Now that you're reset, regrouped, and regrounded, go conquer your afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!